in problem 30. Um, have carbon, carbon 11. And carbon 11 undergoes beta plus decay. So what's beta plus? Um, beta plus means that one of those protons gets converted to a neutron. So we end up with, oh, this would not be carbon because six proton is carbon, five protons is boron. So we lost a positive charge due to a positron. And <clears throat> um, so that converted a proton into a neutron. Those are the products. And then for the energy, we'll be using the Q formula as always. So the mass of carbon to uh, carbon 11 is 11. 0 0.011423 minus the mass of boron 11, which is 11.009305 minus the mass of a positron. What is the mass of a positron now? Um, it is the same as the mass of an electron. That's a tiny mass, but I think it's going to come into play here. So we just got to find it somewhere in the appendix. What is the mass of an electron? Um, I can't find it in the appendix, so we'll look online. Mass of electron. There I have it. It's 5.49 times 10 to the 4. U. So all of those are in terms of U. And times C squared, because that's part of the equation for Q. Um, so Q, the energy released. is One point four seven mega electron volt, and for that I used the fact that U C squared is nine hundred thirty one point five mega electron volt. <clears throat> 